Hello and welcome to LRJ Special and today we'll be looking at unsupervised classification on ArcGIS desktop. So we've uh, been able to, from previous videos, we able to clip raster. So this has the same way of clipping the raster and then we've clipped it to, it's presently a two region in Pakistan. Uh, between Islamabad and Rapimethin, if I pronounce it well. But these are two uh, districts in Pakistan, and this is where I'm currently doing a study on um, multi criteria analysis of the road, the transportation system there. So, uh, to do a multi criteria analysis, you require to have a land use and uh, we're going to have other criteria factors you can use for that analysis. So in this video, I'm just going to use unsupervised classification to be able to just understand the whole thing. So first, I'm going to go to uh, the properties by right clicking and going to properties. And then I'm just going to go to symbology and I'm going to make a change to uh, the color as the bands. So I'm going to just, this is Landsat 8, and I'm just going to make, maybe let me pick band 7, band 5, and band 2. I don't really, I've forgotten most of the band combination, but I think uh, some of this band will help. Okay, so this shows like the, a commercial city. So I think I prefer this band. It shows me as natural as possible. So uh, we'll start with doing, uh, uh, um, we'll do with uh, this unsupervised classification first so that we can understand. So from here that I'm looking, this is a river. Okay, so I'm trying to understand the email. And from what I'm looking, this looks to me like either a mountain. All right, so. I'm trying to take a look first before I proceed so that whenever it made its own classification you can see that there are small small uh, areas small small settlement all over so I'm trying to have a full understanding before I embark in the unsupervised classification all right so now that I've gone through and uh, I could see I see this is settlement and uh, this to me looks like a mountain but I'm not sure something like this too which we'll use Google Earth to verify much later but then I could see the rivers, streams and all that part of the whole thing so we're just going to use a two, four classes on supervised classification so you right click on this space here and then you bring out your image classification now, once the image classification is out, you're going to click on this drop down you have here, and then you go to ISO cluster, cluster unsupervised classification. And right, that's how you go for the unsupervised classification on ArcGIS. So once the dialog box popped up on all they're asking you is that they're asking you for a number of classes. So let's say we are in need of just four classes and uh, we make change of this, uh, the, the location and then I'll just say unsupervised. Supervised. All right, then dot G I L. All right, then we save and is asking minimum class size. Uh, I don't think there's anything really needed here, but then let me try 15 this time around. And then the sample interval, let's try it by five. I just, I'm just trying, I don't know what that is. So if you want to also export the signature, you could also save it as thick. It's going to also have 
a signature created and sent for you but if you don't want to do that just create go click go ahead and click ok so we're watching for it to create with the little things we've made a trick in this uh, waiting for it to quickly do the classification while we looked at it so let's okay let's zoom it to this place so that this can be more like our reference because this is islamabad and the airport i think i can see there's another airport i don't really know but these are all built up something happened it didn't okay so let's redo it again but this time i think most of the times we, if you allow them in their default location it goes more so let me just put four and allow everything to where it was without changing location so let's look whether it's going to still have the same issue this also seems to me like a river but i don't really know because these are things after the classification we will on the study to know what and what is what it seems to me like a river if we could check very well so you can see it seems to me like a river So basically, I if we remove this, let's zoom it very well so that we could understand what each of these colors stands for. It's more to me as if it does more of. I don't really understand what it did, but I think the red color is supposed to be built up. Or you can see that the green color are either built up, or I don't really know. So I am finding it difficult to understand what this has just done. Because when we look at here, and then we put this back what is more is more of the red so i am not the red anyway the red is showing as if it's a bare land so while this one i just changed to this color is showing as if it is so that's one disadvantage of unsupervised classification you will be able to you will not be really be able to dictate which one is which and what is what so but with the aid of so this from my is saying as if it's a river because all the places have suspected that it's river it's following that pattern so let's turn this to blue and see let's say we're using blue here so let's take a look at what is it so you see that all the place i suspect that as river is actually uh done as river but what I don't understand is how this becomes a river is what is I don't really understand. And that's to what I don't really understand because all these rivers have been classified as rivers. But the green part of it and the red part of it is what is making me not really understand because the red to me is more like vegetation from what I can see here if I put it in so what what is the green part is what i don't know the green part is what i don't know but we could decide to match is as either it's the red or the green part and the yellow part as one thing but that's what i do really understand so but it's like both the green and the yellow part are settlement but which i don't really understand so this is supervised classification unsupervised classification 
So this is what this video has to offer. And uh, I'll see you in the next video where we'll be looking at how to do this classification as a supervised classification. Don't go anywhere and please subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, tell more people about it that Elijah Special is a home. Bye-bye.